What's going on guys? I'm your good friend 3 Pixel. Today we'll be showing you how to create a cooling system for a server using decided to renew the server room and before they bring the new equipment I had a great idea to create a new cooling system using the Psycho Flow and Blade Master 120 fans. And before I start with the video I want to give a huge shout out to Cooler Master for sponsoring all these amazing fans for the project. Both fans consume 12 volts and 0.035 amperes and have a speed of 2000 rpm. The Blade Master 120 it comes with a small bag with 4 screws and 4 river pads, the ones will help you to have an anti vibration, but we won't use it in this case. And the Psycho Flow will come with a power extension cable for the fans, the one that will modify creating a parallel plug and play circuit by sections to power all the circuit fans and making a very easy way to change the fans in case you need to be replaced. To find the way to connect it was very easy by checking the extension cable. Like always the black cable is the negative and in this case the next one to the black cable is the positive. In the case of the Blade Master the yellow one will be the positive and to can connect it with the extensions and just keep one of the connectors of the Psycho Flow and connect it to the Blade Master and on that way we will be able to connect with the extension I was creating. I use a very simple tool to make this project a custom transformer of 12 volts with 7 amps to can be able to power these two circuits and yes I just saved two circuits I decided to make a second circuit to can illuminate all the server by using two light bars the one who's are really powerful and can control the intensity by using a small knob we add on the circuit these two circuits work in parallel and can turn it on and turn it off by using an independent small switch. So after we have the plan, we just need to build everything. And this is how it looks the extensions after modify, as you can see, can connect very easy with each other and can have two fans per section. And we are gonna do cable management, aligning all the cables on the left side of the door and using cable ties to tie them. After we place all the fans, we just needed to recheck all the circuit was working with the switch. We leave 25 centimeters of extra cable to the switch. To when we place the back door of the server, we have a big wrench to place the switch. Now I want to apologize because all the times we recorded the server room was too noisy for my microphone. So I hope this don't disturb you. So after we got the back door installed, we have some more remaining wires that we want to hide. So we're going to do some cable managing and hide them right in this little corner right here. So the power switch and stuff will be hidden. The circuit for the lights is very simple. It's another parallel circuit. The one who stay from the socket extension, the energy, one of the sides will go to the switch, that switch will go directly to the knob, the other side of the socket will go directly to the knob, and from the knob all the energy will be in parallel to the two lights. So before we make the test, I'm gonna explain a little bit how all this works. We make that switch which is here at the top, the one we need to help you to turn on and turn off all the fans. And we also have one switch here, which is to the light. I want to mention that these two switches are independent and working in parallel. And you can have only the lights or only the fans. We have here the knob, the one who's helped to move the intensity of the light. Now, before do the test, I want to mention that we are in summer in Taiwan and we turn off the AC of the server room to make the conditions more extreme and we wait 15 minutes to do every single one of the tests. First, we test without the AC and without the fans, giving to us a result of 36.2 degrees. Then we turn on the fans again and wait it 
15 minutes more and we got 29.6 degrees which are 6.6 .6 degrees of difference between uh, using the fans and don't use it and I think the success on this cooling 6 degrees are pretty good especially without the AC and Taiwan summer trust me this is pretty good and really happy with the result and I believe that we success and that was the video for today, I hope you like it, thank you very much Alex, for helping me on the project and remember guys if you like the video don't forget to show your support by giving that thumbs up, sharing the video and subscribing to the channel so that way you won't miss any of my future videos and content and your good friend Fury Pixel, see you next time